Hey guys, it's Dakota from paintballdelivery.com here. Talk about the new Vulcan VMAX loader. Okay, um, we're going to do a quick video on disassembly. We're going to show you a comparison to the rotor, and we're also going to do an on gun test uh, for speed and consistency. Okay, guys, just to show you how easily the Vulcan VMAX loader comes apart, there's a little tab on the inside. Push it down, top comes off. Pull the tray out like so. Flip that. Pull the, uh, pull the uh, tray out, and your loader is pretty much fully disassembled. Put it back in. Same thing. This slides in sort of like the rotor. There's a little tab at the back that clicks into place. Just like so. Front goes on similar to a rotor. Snaps down. Taking a look at the new uh, VMAX loader, um, the feed system, it's actually very similar to the Pinocchio uh, loaders. Uh, it has very soft fingers on the inside, uh, perfect for real fragile paint, ultra evil, hellfire. Um, and a lot of you were having concerns with the uh, sensor clogging up. It's actually um, a little bit different than the Pinocchio. It has, uh, it has like a a gear on the inside that rolls um, so you won't have any issues with paint or uh, dirt clogging the sensor so um, it's a very very reliable loader. Many of you are having concerns with the uh, the bottom of the loader actually being flat not allowing paint to be directed to the drive cone. Um, if you take a close look at this there is actually a slight slant towards the drive cone. The drive cone actually sits at an angle which allows paint to drop from the back um, into the drive cone as well as the front does have a slight tilt to it so um, those of you that were having issues of paint sitting at the front or the back of the loader you shouldn't have to worry because the paint actually does fall towards the drive cone um, many of you are having concerns with the uh, the bottom of the loader actually being flat not allowing paint to be directed to the drive cone um, if you take a close look at this there is actually a slight slant towards the drive cone. The drive cone actually sits at an angle, which allows paint to drop from the back um, into the drive cone, as well as the front does have a slight tilt to it. So um, those of you that were having issues of paint sitting at the front or the back of the loader, you shouldn't have to worry because the paint actually does fall towards the drive cone um, while it's on your gun. Okay guys, we're gonna do a quick comparison between the rotor and the VMAX. Um, as you can tell, size-wise, the rotor is a tiny bit smaller. Um, when it does sit on a gun, as you can see in the Phoenix lineup, the VMAX sits about three-fourths of an inch back further. Um, when you compare the two, the VMAX is a lot lighter compared to the rotor. Um, probably not even, or probably around half the weight of the rotor. Um, a lot of you were concerned about the size of the uh, opening on top. Uh, when you actually compare it to the rotor, it's relatively the same size, so you shouldn't have any issues dumping paint into the VMAX because um, the rotor is roughly the same size as the top of a pod, so I had no issues um, when I tested it out. Um, you shouldn't either. I mean, it's a pretty decent sized uh, opening. Um, as far as the material between the two rot or loaders go, uh, they're virtually the same material. Um, the VMAX is, has a little bit less inside, it's more simplified than the rotor, um, hence the weight difference. Uh, as far as the feed necks go, as you can see, they're pretty much the same size. Uh, the rotor feed neck is a little bit thicker, but you shouldn't have to worry about um, shell issues with these loaders. Uh, the material is real tough, and it has enough there to where the shell should last years. As you can tell, I have a rotor that's completely filled up to the top, just to show you the difference in capacity between the VMAX and a standard rotor. As you can tell, the VMAX holds probably about 50 to 75 more balls than a standard rotor, similar to the high capacity top for the rotor. Um, it's perfect for back guys, um, lets you hold that lane for a couple more seconds, make sure you get that extra kill. Um, and you don't sacrifice uh, size when you do that you do with the high cap top. Okay guys, we're going to do a shooting video with the new VMAX loader. Ok 
Okay guys, a lot of you had questions as to whether or not you need to prime these loaders. Completely empty. As you can see, there's no need to prime them. Um, once you dump the paint into the loader, it basically just falls down the feed neck. Uh, so nobody has to worry about actually having to press the button to prime it.